Okay, this is Big River Trip, day zero. It is like 11.30, and I have just arrived at Big Bend. And at 8.30 tomorrow, I'll wake up and I'll procure <laughs> the requisite permits that I need to do this, this adventure. Uh, if everything goes well, it's going to be tons of fun. And by like day two of hiking, I'll be back into adventure mode, which is really what I'm, I'm trying to optimize here. I got myself a permit to do the shit that I want to do. And a couple of things. So the rangers told me that I couldn't really make it all the way down to Black Dyke Campground. Just cash my water and food. And because someone was already taking that spot, and I guess I couldn't use the, what, the bear boxes are only good for one person. So whatever. It turns out that there's also a old campsite the Smoky Creek campsite, which is where I'm at right now, you can see the Rio behind me, that is not on any maps, but is on the old USGS quad, so it's great. It's off trail, it's like less walking than Black Dyke, and I can float down the Black Dyke. So I can cache my shit here, and then just, you know, float, float back to my car at Rio. Uh, you know, um... I took my Subaru off all these off-roads, about an hour uh, of off-road stuff. You know, it's like dirt road, very rocky. Uh, not too bad. And so this is cash point one. I'm going to go back to my car, grab some stuff, drop it off, hide it somewhere, mark it on my GPS, and then go to cash point number two. It's not nearly as cold or cloudy as I thought it'd be. It looks like it's very mild. I'll just give it a quick little pano out here. It's like super nice looking out and it's not that cold this is going to be perfect for when i walk today i'm just going to try and road walk back to where i cached my water yesterday at fresno campground and then maybe i'll do a little bit of extra mileage it should be pretty easy it's flat my pack weighs less than it did yesterday which isn't actually that much considering like five liters of water and four days of food and fucking paddle gear so yeah, things are, you know, looking okay. Um, I'm gonna be bitching a lot when I pick up my water. It's like 10 liters, so it's an extra 10 kilos. But for now, my pack is like fairly light. It's like a nice day. And it should be a great day to hike in the desert. I just finished the Elephant Tusk Trail and I'm back on the Dodson Trail. And holy shit, that was a lot of bushwhacking. I've been like pricked by like several million cacti. Look at my look at my leg. I don't know if you can see how many. Oh my god! Get the fucking cacti. Can you see this? Look at this thing. Oh man, that was not a trail. Um, I mean there were parts of it that were trail, but once you pass like elephant tusk, it got like real uh, not traily. It was crazy. I mean, it was kind of annoying. There was a bunch of water. And I have nine liters of water in my pack. But somehow, I don't think anything is broken. My pack raft seems to be nicely covered by my rain cover. Look at this thing. And, you know, I don't think I've lost anything. So, that's great. It's three. I thought I'd make it here by, like one i only took a 20 minute break just to drink some water so i haven't eaten anything since breakfast which i guess happened at 9 30 so it's, you know it's not that much but it's time to eat some like spam and cheese and crackers and drink like a couple pounds of water and pull all the cactus pricks out of me and maybe i'll only go like another maybe two miles well no maybe two hours of hiking today 20 minutes on to the Smoky Creek Highway. I follow this for like 10 miles. Like, look at this. Boom. Boom. It's just big open wash until I reach Mexico. I have set up my camp along the Rio. Uh, that's my boat. Yeah, there's the water. And let's see. Uh, it's lightly cloudy. And my boat has not yet popped. And I'm about 
57 miles or so from uh, my car. I have four days of food and like five gallons of water. Uh, four and a half days of food. So, and I just paddled for like an hour and I made like two point something miles. So it's not that fast, but maybe it'll get a little bit faster. Uh, there were some light rapids, which are pretty fun. The boat seems fine. It's kind of hard to see over my uh, backpack, which is really big and bulky. And my water, I feel like is weighing me down. The boat feels like it's kind of low in the water. Uh, you definitely got to temper the thing. I didn't temper it, and I was like, whoa, this looks like it's deflating. But it's just because it's getting cold. Let's see. I guess I'll eat some dinner and read a book about people crossing the border illegally to go ride horses in Mexico. Uh, Cormac McCarthy. The border trilogy. Because it's so fitting. Because look, there's Mexico. <laughs> I feel like I can't really start paddling until it's kind of warm out. You know, like if it's dawn and the sun is just just peeking over the horizon and I don't get any warmth from it then I'll be real cold and uncomfortable paddling and I think I have plenty of time I mean we'll find out today how much time I really have but I think I don't think I need to be truly rushing so the plan today is to lay in bed and read for another half hour or so and then I'll pack up my boat I think I'll rig things slightly differently than yesterday. For one, I need to make sure that my shoes stay dry. Um, I mean, it's nice where I'm beached right now because everything is grass and this nice soft sand, but it could be that I have rocks and I don't want to be walking around barefoot on rocks. It'd be nice to have my shoes. And I'm thinking about renaming it the Lazy River Trip. This thing's moving so slow. It's like... Real, real shallow too. Like, let me just stick my paddle in here. Let's see. Uh, what is that? Maybe like three feet tops. Like from there to there. That's how deep it is right now. So, and this is like kind of a deep section. I mean, there's times where I can like barely reach the bottom with my paddle, and then there's times where like I jump out and sort of, you know, ease my raft along the the shoaly rocks. But, you know, this is so nice. Uh, this is, like, super relaxing. I don't have to carry any weight. I can pretty much get to sit down. Uh, there's some little bits of rapid, but they're, like, real easy rapid, which is kind of fun because then for a brief moment, I'm going way faster than walking. I'm making very good time today because I have a tailwind, and I guess I also have, like, severe vertigo right now because, like, if you look around, I, I guess you can't tell levels in a camera. There's no way to, like, no, you have no vestigial sense. But it looks like the landscape is sloping down towards, I guess, uh, Mariscal Canyon. Holy fuck, what the hell is that? It's a lot of cattle. It must be. It's a lot of reeds breaking. What the hell is that? Okay. Yeah, there's, there's like cattle and horses all over this landscape. But everything's penned in by reeds, so I can't see shit except the mountains in the distance. Uh, it's a lot of fun, though. I, I'm sort of... Some of the rapids are kind of fun. They're, some of them are really shoaly, but some of them are like you can ride without scraping the bottom of your boat at all, which is super fun. Uh, I feel like I'm getting better at them, which is great because I hope there's going to be some rapids up there in this, this canyon. Man, it got kind of cold last night. I woke up and there was frost in my backpack. And I put my puffy on in the middle of the night. So, I don't know if it's like the, the catabatic effect or the fact that I'm near water. But, oh boy, a little chilly. Uh, but the sun's up now. It's a beautiful, cloudless, clear day. I don't think it's going to be quite as hot as it was yesterday. But it's going to be warm. It's going to be great. Uh, I am... I'm going to eat some breakfast and put my shit in my boat and go down the canyon. Let's do it. Woo! All right, let's try and do this without <laughs> dropping my phone in the water. This is the first little entrance thing to Hot Springs Canyon. This is really hard to do, but I can only paddle with one hand. Uh, you can see that there's a little bit of water coming up. It's moving a little fast. Uh, shit, I might actually need to paddle. 
but only a little bit. 